A career bureaucrat of over 37 years, the present Commerce Secretary Rahul Khuller takes charge as India's telecom regulator. What are the challenges ahead for the new TRAI chief, especially with the August 31st deadline set by Supreme Court to wrap up the auction looming rather large? Gauri Vivedi gets us up to date with the new regulator and the task that he has to deliver. Rahul Kullar, a 1975 batch IAS officer, has faced many challenges in his 37-year career as a bureaucrat, but none bigger than the task of regulating the telecom sector, whose future is under cloud. Kullar, known for being upright and blunt, has steered weak exports, negotiated tough bilateral ties with many countries, openly taken on the U.S. for protectionist stance, and spearheaded several rounds of Doha negotiations. But the new boss of TRAI has his task firmly cut out. A fractious industry, up in arms over a 13-fold increase in spectrum costs. Rock-bottom tariffs that are threatening to rise dramatically. Global telcos irked by the Supreme Court verdict and the government exchequer staring at the funds that will flow in from spectrum auction. The industry realizes that Kuller can make or break the sector. We'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Kuller and uh, we hope that uh, Dr. Kuller will uh, lead the industry forward. We are hoping that uh, Dr. Kuller, given the time that he needs to get up to speed uh, on the various issues, will take the bull by the horns, as they say. It's not without a reason that the big three of Indian Telecom met Kuller weeks before his appointment as the TRAI chairman. Kuller's predecessor, J.S. Sarma, dealt a final blow to the GSM camp even on his last day in office. Rejecting the industry's plea, both on prices and reallocation of spectrum, even though the reserve price for CDMA spectrum has been reduced considerably. The controversial recommendations will now be considered by the Department of Telecom and the Ecom next week. The big question, will Kuller contradict his predecessor's pricing proposals? The industry for sure hopes he does. Sakshi Batra and Gauri Devedi, ET Now, New Delhi.